All right, ready to have your mind blown a little bit. Always up for that. What's on the docket today? Today, we're diving into something that really blurs the line between science fiction and reality. Meta's new movie gen AI. Movie gen. Yeah, I've seen some buzz about that. Sounds wild. It is. You're interested in AI, so we figured this was right up your alley. Imagine this. You snap a photo, type in something like dancing on the moon, and bam, movie gen creates a video of that scene. Wait, really? With like realistic movement and details and all that? It can do realistic movement details the whole nine yards. Wow. That's not just another step forward. That's a whole leap in AI video generation. Like having a Hollywood studio at your fingertips, right? Seriously. Wow. It's got to be building on what Meta was doing with those other projects, like mm -hmm. make a scene, right? It is. But MovieGen takes things to a whole new level. We're talking high-definition video, complex scenes, even sound effects and music. All generated by AI. Come on. All generated by AI. And get this. Meta is claiming that MovieGen is even better than Google's new VO AI. No kidding. So why are all the big tech companies racing to build these AI video tools? That's the million dollar question. They clearly see this as the future of content creation. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, think about the potential impact. Film, advertising, social media, everything changes. Right. It's a potential gold mine, and they all want to be the ones holding the pickaxe. Think about those personalized birthday greetings you see online. Oh, yeah, the ones where they paste your face onto a dancing elf. Exactly. But this is light years ahead of that. We're talking incredibly realistic, personalized content, and not just for fun. Think education or training simulations. Oh, wow. You get a personalized lessons on anything. Want to learn about ancient Rome? Movie Gen could make a video of you walking through the Colosseum. Exactly. Or imagine medical students practicing surgery in a hyper-realistic AI-generated operating room. That's both fascinating and a little intimidating, isn't it? Totally agree. It's like we're on the verge of a whole new way of experiencing the world, all thanks to AI. But before we go too far down that rabbit hole, let's back up a bit. How does Movie Gen even work? Well, at its core... MovieGen uses something called Generative Adversarial Networks, or JANs. It's basically two neural networks duking it duking out. Duking it out, like a digital boxing match. Kind of. One network creates content, and the other tries to tell if it's real or AI-generated. <sighs> Through this constant back and forth, the generator gets better and better. So like an artist and a critic constantly pushing each other to improve. You got it. Yeah. And in MovieGen's case, all of this is fueled by mountains of data images videos, audio, all used to teach the AI models how to create. The more data, the better the results. Precisely. So let me get this straight. We've got these crazy powerful AI models trained on unimaginable amounts of data, and they can whip up high definition video and audio just from some text prompts. That's the gist of it, yeah. It's mind blowing, but it also makes you wonder what could go wrong? What happens when a technology this powerful gets into the wrong hands? That's the scary part, isn't it? A whole it? new set of challenges. We talked about the potential downsides, and the first one that springs to mind is misuse, creating misleading or harmful content. Yeah, you're hitting the nail on the head. Manipulating video and audio so convincingly, that's a huge red flag. The big one everyone's talking about is deep fakes. Exactly. Deep fakes are terrifying. For those who might not be familiar, can you give us a quick explanation of what a deep fake is? Sure. In the simplest terms, a deep fake is a video or an audio recording that's been manipulated. It shows someone doing or saying something they never actually did. And I'm talking scary good fakes here. Like impossible to tell it's fake. Almost. It's getting harder and harder to spot them. And that's terrifying, especially now with so much misinformation flying around. Exactly. And movie gen. With how advanced it is, it could make creating these deceptive videos easier than ever. So we could see a surge in fake news, doctored political speeches, or even personal attacks designed to look real. It's not out of the realm of possibility. The implications are huge. Imagine a fake video being used as evidence in court or to ruin someone's reputation. It's chilling. This technology feels like it's advancing faster than we can regulate it. I think you've got a point. A lot of policymakers and researchers are struggling to keep up. It's hard to find a balance between encouraging innovation and preventing this kind of misuse. Are there any safeguards in place, or are we just hoping people use this responsibly? It's a bit of both. On the technical side, there's a lot of work being done on detection tools, things that analyze video and audio for tiny inconsistencies to flag fakes. But the tech keeps getting better. Exactly. It's a constant arms race. But technology isn't the whole answer, right? 
We need to look at the legal and ethical side, too. Like new laws specifically for deepfakes. Maybe. That's the debate raging right now. How do we hold people accountable for creating and spreading this kind of harmful content? This feels much bigger than just Meta's movie, Jen. You're right. This is about the whole impact of AI on society. We need ethical guidelines, regulations, something to ensure these tools are used for good. It's a lot to take in, but it's something we have to discuss now. Before it's too late, right? Exactly. We've talked about deepfakes, misinformation, but there's another layer to this. MovieGen doesn't just create new videos, it can edit existing ones too. It's like digital plastic surgery for videos. That's a great way to put it. And it can go way beyond just tweaking appearances. Imagine changing the background of a video, adding in objects that weren't originally there, or even making it look like someone's saying something completely different. So you could take, say, a historical speech and add in gestures, expressions, all that. Exactly. Or take a nature documentary and seamlessly blend in CGI creatures. It's getting hard to tell what's real and what's not. And don't forget about the audio manipulation we talked about. MovieGen can do that too. Oh, right. So you could have a video, change how the people look, what they're doing, what they're saying, and the background too. It's a lot, right? It makes you question everything you see in here. How do we know it's authentic anymore? That's the million dollar question. Where do we even start? Awareness is key. We need to know this technology exists, understand how it can be misused, and view everything with a critical eye. So healthy skepticism is our best defense. It's a good start. Yeah. But we also need to get better at media literacy, you know? Learn how to spot manipulated content. Think critically about the information we're consuming. That's a big ask, especially when the technology is evolving so quickly. I hear you. It's a shared responsibility, though. Mm -hmm. Tech companies need to build in safeguards, educators need to teach media literacy, and everyone needs to stay informed. It's a team effort, for sure. But instead of focusing on all the scary stuff, let's shift gears a bit. What about the positive potential of movie gen? Oh, absolutely. There's a ton of it. We touched on filmmaking earlier. Imagine the possibilities. It could be revolutionary for filmmakers. No more expensive special effects, just pure creativity unleashed. Exactly. And it's not just Hollywood either. Independent filmmakers, artists, anyone could use this to tell their stories in amazing new ways. Democratizing filmmaking, that's pretty cool. It is. We're already seeing AI in music and art, but movie gen. Mm -hmm. This could change how we experience stories and information in a way we never thought possible. So while we definitely need to be cautious, there's a lot to be excited about, too. 100%. Yeah. This technology has the power to reshape our world. It's up to us to use it wisely. Well said. So we've explored the ins and outs of Meta's movie Gen AI. We've seen its incredible capabilities, the potential for good and bad, the ethical dilemmas. It's a lot to unpack. But one thing's for sure, the future of content creation is here. And it's unlike anything we've ever seen. We're all part of this conversation now. We need to stay informed, stay engaged, and work together to ensure this technology is used responsibly. The future is unfolding before our eyes, and it's up to all of us to shape it.